For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Ava. When Cat Williams let his problems with Steve Harvey, Kevin Hart, Ricky Smiley, and others out, the world spent weeks responding to what he had to say. It looks like there's one comedian Cat didn't mention that now Monique would like to bring into the conversation. On Wednesday, Monique's interview with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay will begin streaming, and during their interview, Monique would bring up D.L. Hughley to discuss the problems she's had with him over the years. Monique would first begin by telling the story of being a guest on D.L. Hughley's radio show. Towards the end of this interview, Monique is asked to play a game where she was asked an offensive question. Who would she rather have her husband sleep with? Lee Daniels with a condom or Corinne Stephens without one? In response, Monique asked how that question uplifts the community, but was given no answer. After that, Monique proceeded to call Hughley for an explanation. According to her, she was told by Hughley, that's how we get down, it is what it is. Monique would then tell Sharp that things got so heated, she had to send a cease and desist to Hughley's team, which is why the radio episode never aired. Through the years, I've watched DL speak ill of me. I never knew DL Hughley had a problem with me. But when Cass said they all a group, he forgot to put DL Hughley in the group. I was bitter. I was dangerous with what I was doing, saying that it was inequality. This went on through the years. I was unloved. And I said to myself, I'm going to see you. Mm -mm. I'm going to see you. Now, Dio Hughley would catch Wayne and Monique's latest comments and would take to his Instagram page and not hold back. Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. So Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on a greasy ass video with her and her daddy complaining about something. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. Played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that. She got off. She called me. Monique did. And she said I was very dismissive. Like, huh? Monique's a liar. I heard her, her complaints. I listened to her. And I pulled the segment. If I had been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. Then she encouraged everybody. Uh, allegedly, it stems from the fact that I used to always talk shit about her. And she encouraged her sweet babies to look at the video and find them. Do that. You're not going to find any evidence of that because Monique is a fucking liar. But what you will find is Monique talking shit about some uh, uh, alleged contract dispute we had. What she did in response to that, she talked about my dog, my wife. This broad even brought out my daughter's personal trauma. Told the world that I allowed my daughter to be ripped in front of me. The lying motherfucker. And it only stopped when everybody from my family checked her. You won't ever see a, her with her family. Videos with her children or grandchildren. How do you have sweet babies when your own babies don't fuck with you? You'll never, you know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. If she just spent as much time writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. Because that's what Monique does. She complains and she has grievances. All you do is talk about your grievances and who did you wrong. It's sad. There's an old adage that said you can't buy love. It's a shame, Monique, that you probably always will have to. During her talk with Shannon Sharp, Monique would then go on to say that she never went on anybody's show to talk about what DL had done. She had only kept this situation in mind in order to address him when the two came in contact. Now, according to Monique, the two had a show scheduled in Los Angeles, but eventually Hughley's name went off the bill. Now, if you remember, when the two were scheduled to perform on the same show in Detroit, there was a contract dispute over who was set to headline the comedy show. Monique would come out to the audience and publicly trash Hughley. After the show, both parties would engage in a public back and forth that would last several days and ultimately became personal after people's families were mentioned. Now, in order to prove who the true headliner of the show was, Hughley would post a deal memo while Monique would share her contract. As details continued to come out, it was assumed that the show promoter had told both comedians they were headlining the show. So you came after my husband, and when you had the chance to fix it, when you had a chance to say, Mo, my bad, we don't even get down like that, you told me it is what it is. And until he's brave enough and courageous enough to say, this is what really happened, y'all, what people do know is, if you kick me, damn, if I ain't gonna kick you back, because that's fair play. Now, as Monique has stated, Cat Williams did not mention D.L. Hughley with the other comedians he had a problem with. Fans online would also notice that Hughley went unscathed during Cat's rant. Instead of commenting on what Cat said himself, Hughley would respond to those posts with laughter. 
one fan would ask Hughley, so any cat news? Ain't no way the great deal Hughley ain't got nothing to say. Not nothing. Not even cat said what he said. Now, Monique, on the other hand, appears to have no problem bringing D.L. Hughley into the equation after Cat Williams left him out. Let's talk about it more in the comments below. How do you feel about D.L.'s roast and unfiltered response to Monique Shannon Sharp's interview? And stay up to date for the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel. And check out thehypemarket.com for all your cool and original merchandise. And for our viewers on YouTube, if you like this story, send us a super thanks by hitting the button below. And you can tip us what you want to show your support. For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Opp. I had such a good time. Nah, that was a good time. Tell me anything. Nah, I loved it. I loved it. Oh, yo, so you and your homegirl coming through tonight, right? You got games. Yeah, of course I got games. Yeah, I just pulled this game off of the hype market. It's called Comedy Hype. Yeah, me and my cousin were playing it last week with the fam. Yo, we were rolling. Mm -hmm. No, you're going to love it. It's a trivia game. Yes, yeah, yeah, we do points and everything. I mean, you need some help. You can need to redeem yourself anyway from that spades tournament last week. Yeah, you are trash. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Of course it's fun. All right. Name the queens of comedy. Some more. Mm -hmm. Monique. Mm -hmm. Tiffany. <laughs> nah, nah, you missed one now. That's why you need to rock with me, baby. I got all the answers. We'll see. All right, I'll see you tonight then. Nine, just come at nine. You don't need to come no earlier. That's why everybody getting here. All right. All right, nine o'clock. All right, bye.